everywhere my people dance. They dance as varied and as sweet as our trees. When I was young, my uncle taught me to respect the law of trees. In them, he said, is beauty, health and food, and wealth and wisdom for those who know it. Popo and banana trees, plantain and orange groves, darada, tangerines, mango trees and grapefruit trees. Silk cotton trees alone and mighty, a hundred feet of buttressed majesty. Processional trees, forming ranks along avenues of teak or neem, or royal palm, as if every day were an occasion. Columns that bring cathedral shade. Coconut trees give meat and drink and fuel, make roofs and fences, and a profit for the man who sells the copra. And in the deepest forests, the heritage of centuries, precious hardwoods which now provide a major industry for Ghana. Every year, outward bound, millions of cubic feet of timber. One log alone may bring 500 pounds. Timber is nothing to cocoa. My brother has a cocoa farm, two acres, but worth it. Worth it? More than one third of all the world's cocoa comes from here, grown by thousands of small peasant farmers. Prices are high, and it's thanks to cocoa that Ghana is one of the richest parts of Africa. The money comes back to build schools and colleges and hospitals. Yes, let us thank God for cocoa. But let us thank him under this tree. This is a holy tree. Under it we pour libations. O oh, ye gods, that which we have done, we have done. We beg you for strength and continuing health. May the bearers of children bear children. Let no evil come to Ghana.